Hi LEGO fans, it's been ages since I reviewed a LEGO City set, and it just so happens that the timing for this set is perfect. After a recent visit to the LEGO City planning department at my local IKEA, LEGO City is undergoing a major expansion. And that's a great excuse to start working on all of the modular buildings and LEGO City sets I just haven't had time to build so far. So today, I'm going to be unboxing, speed building, and reviewing set number 60204, LEGO City Hospital from LEGO City. I have reviewed a LEGO Hospital before, but it was a LEGO Friends Hospital. And as you know, LEGO Friends aren't real LEGO. Well, that bombshell should make the comments interesting. The 861 piece part count includes 11 minifigures. There are one, two, three doctors, a hospital worker, a pair of paramedics, mom, dad, and three patients. We also have a skeleton, and one of my favorite things in the whole world, a LEGO baby. We also have a three level hospital building complete with ambulance drop off and an air ambulance. We also have a light brick which works as a projector in the x-ray room and yes, batteries are included. Over on the back of the box we get a closer look at what's inside. We can see that light brick in action in the x-ray room and I've got to confess my expectations for how good this will be are pretty low. There's an operating room slash delivery suite, a vision testing ophthalmology room, a lab complete with a creepy skeleton, and this must be the emergency room. The paramedics are equipped with a state-of-the-art ambulance and helicopter just in case you've got good health insurance. And a really nice feature of this set is that the hospital is modular so you can move the departments around and customise the hospital as you wish. In the event of an emergency, the ambulance can drive you straight up to the front door. And if things get really bad or you've got really, really good health insurance, there's a helicopter landing pad. I just hope this guy doesn't need to go to the operating theatre, because the operating theatre is on the third floor and as far as I can see there's no elevator and definitely no stairs. In fact there's no walls and no safety rails so it's probably a good job there's plenty of doctors. Minor details aside, this does look like a very cool set and I'm very keen to get building. So let's tear open this box and see what we've got inside. Here's everything that came inside the box. We've got nine numbered bags of Lego, five 16 by eight gray base plates, a mind blowing five instruction booklets, and a ludicrous number of stickers. I'm gonna go ahead and build the Lego City Hospital and today this is gonna be a 90 second speed build. And here's a completed LEGO City Hospital. Build time was just under two hours and I really enjoyed putting this together. What I didn't enjoy was stickering this thing. Man, that was a lot of stickers. Given that this set is suitable for builders aged 6 through 12, the stickering to me was excessive. I can imagine the average six year old would find the stickering very frustrating. Putting stickering aside, this is a great set and it's gonna look awesome in LEGO City. The hospital is a good looking building. There are some fun interior features, a really nice selection of minifigures, and we even get a helicopter and an ambulance for some imaginary play. We're gonna start out by taking a look at the first floor of the hospital. That'll also give us an opportunity to explore the ambulance. 
From there, we'll take a look around the X-ray suite and check out the vision testing area. And we'll finish up on the third floor where we have the operating theater slash delivery room. I've got a couple of ideas when it comes to the helicopter, so we'll take a look at that. And then we'll wrap up by taking a look at all of these minifigures. Before we get started, I did mention earlier that this is a modular build. You may have noticed that as I was putting together the speed build. Modular in LEGO terms means easy to take apart and put back together again. This allows you to mix things up if you want to, but also makes things a lot easier for me when it comes to filming. We start by removing the roof. The operating theatre lifts off easily. OK, apparently not that easily. Next we can take away the vision testing room. And finally the x-ray suite. And now we have the perfect hospital for acrophobiacs. There are two ways to get into this hospital. If you're lucky, you'll be entering by the front door. There's a convenient directory outside pointing out all the different departments. We have information on the ground floor, the smiling baby department upstairs, and we also have the vision testing centre and the x-ray room. Apparently there is parking, but it's not included in this set. And if it's like my local hospital, it'll be very expensive. The other entrance is around the side and is reserved for people who are having a really bad day. We'll come back to that in just a moment. We do have a light illuminating the front door courtesy of a 1x2 transparent yellow tile. There's also a ramp for people who need a little extra help and an automatic sliding door. The door comes on a sliding rail which is quite a neat feature. You'll notice a lot of columns on the first floor. These kind of make it difficult to see inside but do add support for the upper levels. Inside you'll find a little snack bar with some tasty treats. This is kind of removable so you can take a closer look. Not only can you buy cupcakes and a refreshing drink, you can also get a copy of the LEGO News while you wait for your doctor to be late. And we have a printed tile with the front of a box of LEGO. I think that's probably meant to be a LEGO magazine, but it is a cool addition. As the ground floor is made out of two base plates, there is quite an ugly join in the middle. The designers have tried to hide this by building a ramp over the top. It's not perfect, but it does carry on the theming from the ramp at the front door. The rear part of the first floor houses the ambulance entrance and the triage area. In fact, we have a little first aid cart that's meant to go in there. The side door is clearly marked as an ambulance entrance and has powerful lights. Well, yellow transparent studs, you know what I mean. There's also a trans blue element on the outside to warn people of the incoming ambulance. The door is equipped with a ramp for gurneys. There's also an emergency only sticker and a walkie talkie to summon assistance. In fact, the only thing we don't have is an actual door. It would have been nice to have maybe had a roller shutter on the side. That being said, it is the perfect place for the ambulance to back up to. Or it would be if it weren't for the slightly awkward rear door. The ambulance itself is a really nice looking build, or at least the parts of it that aren't covered with stickers. There are a lot of stickers on this ambulance. There's a license plate on the front confirming the set number 60204, another one on the back. It says 60204 on the right hand side, 60204 on the left. We've got an ambulance sticker on the front of this curved roof piece. And just for good measure, the red stripe on the right and on the left is stickered too. That was real fun to apply. There's another ambulance sticker on the side, just in case you missed the blue flashy lights. Medical symbology on the rear quarter, the word ambulance and some medical symbology on the back door, and the most annoying stickers in the world. It's a nightmare trying to apply horizontal stripes to two different windows that sit next to one another. Okay, sticker rant over, let's get on with the review. I always like to start underneath with vehicles because it gives us an idea how robust the vehicle is going to be under heavy play. In this case, we have a really long grey plate giving it loads of structural stability. The wheels are pretty standard for LEGO City builds, but give the ambulance a really satisfying rolling action. At the front, we've got all of the flashy lights you'd expect to see, and we have these incredibly thin doors which do open but don't do anything useful. The more I look at this, the more I think something's wrong. And yes, I'm pretty sure we've not put this together properly. I can soon fix that. There we go, that's much better, but it's still a little bit challenging to get the minifigure inside the ambulance. Thankfully, we have this convenient removable roof. This provides access to the front of the ambulance where you'll find a driver's seat, a steering wheel, and a printed instrument cluster. There's only room inside for one paramedic, and I'm pretty sure these guys usually work in pairs. Speaking of room inside, the back door does open, revealing a large patient bay, and in here we'll find our latest victim. Yes, the ambulance comes complete with a stretcher or a gurney, and it fits inside the ambulance really nicely. 
On top of the ambulance, we've got more blue flashing lights and some communications equipment. These allow the crew to call ahead to the hospital with the patient's insurance details. Man, I've been living in America too long. Once you get over the sticker shock, and I mean all 12 stickers, this is a really nice ambulance build and complements the set really well. It's pretty solid and will stand up to some play action, and there are some nice details including those grey stripes down the side. I just wish I'd not even attempted to put those stickers on the windows. Lego, what were you thinking? Turning our attention back to the hospital, it's time to quite literally take it to the next level. Floor 2 is made up of two modules. This one is the vision testing department, and then this one is the x-ray suite. This bleary-eyed chap looks like he could really use some help with his eyes. Thankfully we have some state-of-the-art ophthalmology equipment and a bunch of stickers. As much as I hated applying the sticker for the eye chart, I must admire the graphic designer's wit. If you read the letters down the page, they say if you can read this, you have good vision. There are also a bunch of symbols on the left hand side, the most recognisable being the Lego tree. Suspended from the wall we have this interesting piece of eye testing apparatus. This is where minifigures come to have their eyes tested and vision corrected. We also have some cool flat screen technology for doing whatever eye doctors do. There we go, good as new. Right next door is where we have the lab slash x-ray room. Although I think it might be a little bit too late to x-ray this guy. Over in the corner we have a testing station complete with microscope. There's a sample on a petri dish ready to go and a syringe. Underneath the microscope we have some drawers which contain some other samples. In the bottom one we have a red petri dish which presumably contains blood. And in the top one we've got an orange petri dish which contains um, something that isn't blood. And finally over in the other corner we've got the x-ray machine. This is where we have the light brick. That probably doesn't show up very well on camera. This actually works a lot better when we kill some of the studio lights. Here you can see inside a minifigure who swallowed some cherries. Next we have a minifigure with a suspected broken arm. And finally we have a minifigure whose rib is definitely broken. The x-ray machine is actually remarkably simple. We've got this light brick at the top here which shines, there we go. And then we've got these x-ray films which go in front of it. And literally the light shines through these stickers. We get three of these x-ray slides and frankly they work a lot better than I thought. This one has to be my favourite because it's got loads of detail and shows up a bunch of stuff you shouldn't be able to see on an x-ray. While waiting to be analysed, the x-ray slides stack into a neat little rack. It's a great idea to have these modular segments to make up the hospital. I also really like the big blue windows which really give it a light and airy feeling. Next we're moving on up to the third and final floor of the hospital. This is where parents meet their newborn baby for the first time, and if I understand the mechanics correctly, this will be where the stork lands. In fact, if my eyes don't deceive me, the stork has just paid a visit. We have this very cute newborn baby who's learned to sit up in his crib and smile. We also have a photo in case mum forgets what he looks like, and his notes. We also have this small but perfectly formed bottle. The bottle is kind of big compared to the baby, but nevertheless it's a really nice addition to the set. The delivery suite also doubles up as the hospital's operating theatre complete with operating table. There's a screen monitoring vital signs and a couple of canisters. And so that surgeons can see what they're doing we've got this overhead light with multiple points of articulation. There's also a really large sticker on the back wall showing lots of marine life. This is of course in keeping with the nursery theme. Finally topping off the hospital and keeping out the rain is the roof. We could position the helipad at ground level but that would take up too much space in Lego City. So I had a little bit of an idea. By removing a couple of bits and pieces off the top I'm pretty sure we could mount the helipad on top of the hospital. That actually kind of works pretty well. The helipad is a pretty simple construction built on a grey hexagonal base plate. On top of that we've got a yellow H for helimajig and there's a couple of jumper plates with trans orange studs. Underneath is equally simple with four 1x4 grey tiles. These provide just a little bit of lift to give the helipad some elevation. The helicopter is a pretty standard LEGO City helicopter and comes in complementary colours to the ambulance. There's a transparent blue canopy at the front which provides just enough space for a pilot. The pilot has a couple of control levers and it looks like we've got some trans blue lights just in case we get caught up in some helicopter traffic. There's also a walkie talkie mounted on the outside because that's really useful. But what we don't have is any room for a patient in the back. In fact I don't think this is designed for carrying passengers at all. 
Rather than being an air ambulance, this just seems to be a convenient way for the paramedic to get to the scene of an accident quickly. And when the paramedic arrives on the scene, he's got everything he needs to administer first aid. Or more accurately, a bottle of aspirin. That's really going to help with my broken leg. For some reason that obviously made more sense to the Lego designers, there's a mailbox attached to the side of the helicopter. I'm guessing this was actually intended for delivering blood or organs for transplant. On the tail of the helicopter we've got the all-important rotor blade. You'll also notice the set number 60204 on the sticker. Another sticker proclaims this to be a paramedic helicopter even though he's clearly not carrying the right equipment. As LEGO helicopters go, it's okay, but I really would have liked to have seen somewhere in the back of the helicopter for a patient. All hospitals are a hive of human activity, and this one is no exception. We have a massive count of 11 minifigures and a baby. We have two paramedics, three doctors dressed in scrubs, a hospital worker, man that's a great job title, a construction worker who's having a really bad day because his hair's fallen off, the squinty guy who's here for an eye checkup, a painter who seems to have broken his wrist, and proud parents with their baby. This is a paramedic from the ambulance and she's wearing these plain light blue pants and then we've got this paramedic uniform on there with the medical symbol. She's also got some metallic stripes which you can see shining in the lights and those metallics continue around the back. Another medical symbol there. Really nicely printed minifigure. She's got this great expression on the front and like most of these minifigures there is no expression on the back but we do have a really cool piece of headgear here. We've got this red baseball cap and then the ponytail which is molded in we've got this dual molded plastic and the ponytail sticking through the back of the baseball cap really cool here's the other paramedic from the helicopter and he comes with the same light blue pants with no printing he's got a very similar but differently printed top on here we've got a different design there for the kind of helicopter i guess this is a jacket he's also got those stripes on there which you can see reflected in the light and then he's got this face on here with these sunglasses other than that it's a pretty plain white crash helmet with a visor Moving on to the first of the three doctors, you might recognise this haircut. It's definitely one we've seen a lot before on minifigures. Very cool, but very widely used. Then we've got this kind of smarmy expression, I want to say. It's uh, almost smiling, but... Uh, has a bit of an air of confidence to it. We've got these very light blue pale pants on there and then a really nicely printed torso with the stethoscope. You can see there we've got some metallics for the end, uh, a pocket there with some pens and then just a little bit of printing on the back for the creasing. Next we have a female doctor with the same light blue pants but with a differently printed torso. We've got the medical symbol there on the chest and then a pocket with a single pen and you can see the light blue scrubs underneath and on the back we have this medical symbol. Really nice haircut, I love this kind of reddish brown colour with the waves out to the side and then a really nice and friendly expression on the front there, no alternate expression on the back. Next we have another male doctor and he's wearing exactly the same uniform with the same prints as the first guy. He has a really cool expression there with the beard. In fact he looks like Noel Edmonds. Not that you guys in America would know who that guy is. But uh, really nicely coiffured haircut. There's not going to be an alternate print around the back. And other than the face and the hair he's the same as the first doctor. Moving on to the civilians, we have what I think is my favourite minifigure of the whole set. This is the only one with the dual expression. He also has these plain brown pants on here and then this sweater with the diamond design and a shirt underneath. Now that facial expression is super cool, I really like that. He's got this kind of squinty look which suggests he needs glasses and of course he does. He's also got this very nice, uh, I guess that's dark brown or black hair and then around the back we have the only alternate expression from the set and and that is him with his glasses on. Next we have another patient and this guy is a painter and decorator who seems to have fallen off his ladder and broken his wrist. This is a really cool element that just snaps onto the hand and gives the impression that he's wearing a plaster cast. His outfit is very very cool, he's got these coveralls on here which are splashed with paint. We've actually got some printing on the legs and that printing continues onto the bib here, onto the uh, coveralls I guess. Big pocket there on the front and then some more printing around the back with some splash is a paint. Great facial expression, almost like a salty sea captain, and then he's wearing this plain white baseball cap. 
Another guy who's been in the wars is this chap. I did call him a construction worker earlier, but clearly when we look around the back, he's actually a miner. You can see the miner's helmet there and the two pickaxes. Now, really nice printing on the front there. We've got the kind of orange miner's jacket. We've got the name badge and some metallics there for the zipper. Uh, other than that, he's got plain blue pants on and then a smiling face, which is good because he's clearly hurt himself quite badly and needed a bandage on his head. Yes, that is a bandage piece to go on the head but we also have a couple of other accessories for him we have a hair or a hair piece which fits on like that suits him really well and to match the symbol around the back we also have a miner's helmet which looks very very cool indeed we've got this helmet piece with a trans yellow stud on the front here we have our hospital worker who actually looks quite a sprightly young thing with this very trendy haircut but then when you take a look at the expression she's actually quite lined and wrinkled so I don't know whether this is an older person or somebody who's quite young with the hair but uh, anyway she looks very cool she's got the same light blue pants on as the doctors and then this uniform with the name badge the grey shirt underneath the pen pocket there and around the back just a little bit of printing for the contours of her body the proud father to our Lego baby is wearing these olive green pants. Those are plain with no printing. But then we have this printed torso piece with the green sweater, some detail around the bottom there and around the neck there with the blue shirt. A little bit more detailing on the back there around the collar and around the bottom of the sweater. And then we've got this rather nice printed face with the kindly expression, the beard and the mustache and those glasses. And to top it off, we've got this kind of nicely smoothed out hair piece. The baby's mom has this really nice blonde hair piece and I love the way that flows over the back and also over the front of the shoulder there. We do have just the one expression which shows a very nice smiley face with lipstick and then we have this rather nicely printed cardigan and blouse ensemble you can see we've got this kind of in fact i recognize this from one of the old christmas sets yeah this was definitely in one of the seasonal sets from a couple of years ago apart from that she's wearing these plain blue pants and overall she's a pretty good looking minifigure and finally, we have the teeny tiny baby. I really love these Lego babies. They are so cool. We've got this kind of single piece body there with the arms molded on, and then you can rip his head off if you really want to. I'm not gonna do that to the baby because he's got such a gorgeous smile. Please take me home. Of course, the baby also comes with this cute little stroller. And like any good hospital, there's a wheelchair, which is a great place to put patients when you haven't got enough beds. So that was set number 60204, the Lego City Hospital from Lego City. This is everything Lego City should be. It's a good looking set. It's got loads of minifigures. And best of all, this will fit very nicely into anybody's LEGO City. As you'd expect with LEGO City, a lot of the minifigures are quite generic and use parts from other sets. But that's okay because when it comes to LEGO City, the quantity is probably better than the quality. There are ample minifigures, vehicles and rooms in the hospital to have a really fun play experience. The ground floor is probably the weakest part of the hospital, mainly because it's taken up with all of those columns. I did like the vision testing centre with the piece of equipment that came down from the wall and that specially designed minifigure showing the guy getting glasses. The lab was also a surprisingly strong addition to the set. We had the testing area with the microscope, the evil skeleton and the x-ray machine with the light brick which worked a lot better than I thought. And finally, at the top of the hospital, we had the operating theater slash delivery suite. As much as I hate stickers, the graphics in this part of the hospital were really cool. The helicopter wasn't the best part of this set and didn't really fit into the medical theme. Either it needed to have a paramedic's medical kit or be much bigger to accommodate a patient in the back. The ambulance was a solid build, but those stickers drove me to distraction. Even when I look at it now, I hate those windows. But overall, this is a great LEGO City set, and now I'm thinking I probably need a fire station to go with it, and then a police station. This is by no means the first LEGO City hospital, and I'll be really curious to see what you guys think of this version. Whether you like it or not, I really hope you enjoyed this LEGO City unboxing, speed build, and review video. I really enjoyed building this and sharing it with you guys, and if you enjoyed the video, I'm sure you know what to do. Thanks a million for checking out today's review, stay safe, and we'll see you on the next build video.